hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to see the stream data model that is data stream management system a database management system dbms organizes and manages structured data and it allows users to create modify and secure databases whereas a data stream management system dsms handles live continuously updating data from sources like sensors or social media called data streams and DSMS process input streams to generate modified output stream. This is the diagram for the data stream management system architecture. Uh, we can see the stream entering input. Uh, it can be of any type that is string, uh, binary numbers, uh, symbols or numbers. Then we have ad hoc queries. Uh, limited working storage, archival storage, stream processor, standing queries and finally we had output, output stream. We are going to see them one by one. So now we are going to see DSMS architecture. First is input stream. Uh, it may be any character, number or binary digits or any data or any type uh, of any data type. Second is stream processor. Uh, it is responsible for cleaning sampling, filtering and querying input data streams. Uh, it has two types of queries to process streaming data. First is uh, standing queries, queries which are asked to this stream at all the times that is continuous queries and second ad hoc queries, queries asked one time to the stream. Third is limited working storage, uh, temporary space for data being processed in real time and it holds only the current data needed for immediate tasks. For these archival storage uh, used to store achieved uh, values, long term storage for older or processed data kept for future reference. And the fifth one is output stream. Uh, stream processors will process the input stream and generate the output stream. And the final process data is sent here for real time use and display or further analysis. DSMS consists of various layers which are dedicated to perform particular operations and which are as follows. First one is data source layer. It is the first layer. It comprises of all the data sources which includes sensors, social media feeds, financial and stock markets, etc. Capturing and parsing of data stream happens and it is a collection layer which collects the data. Second is data ingestion layer and it acts as a bridge between data source uh, layer and processing layer and the main purpose is to handle the flow of data buffering and routing third is processing layer uh, considered as a heart of dsms architecture it is a functional layer of dsms application processes the data streams in real time and for processing it it uses processing engines like apache flink or apache storm etc and the main function of processing layer is to filter, transform, aggregate and enriching the data stream. Then fourth layer is storage layer. Once data is processed, it needs to be stored in a storage unit. And this layer includes systems like NoSQL or uh, distributed database. And it ensures data is safe and accessible uh, even if system fails. Fifth layer is querying layer. Uh, it supports two types of queries that is ad hoc and standard and it provides SQL like query languages or API for querying and users can ask questions like how many entries are done or what data is inserted. Sixth layer is visualization and reporting layer and this layer helps in visualizing data using charts and graphs and it generates reports for analysis based on visual representation. Also, it aids in presenting data insights clearly. And the seventh layer is integration layer. It connects DSMS with traditional systems, business intelligence tools or machine learning applications. And it helps integrate with existing tools and improving current systems. It enhances the overall performance of running applications. And this was it for the data stream management system. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching till here.